Swinging from trees, yet yeah, running through the streets. Howling to the rhythm of our own drum beat. It's a world of our own. Tell you where to go, where to go, where to find friends. Look, around, look around at the littlest picture. Come on, get down. Won't you come on, get down? Yeah, we come from near and far to celebrate who we are. Look, who's hanging around. Whatever could it be, please tell me. I'm dying of suspense. My martial arts hero, Croak Frog, is, is performing with his laser force awesome stunt team in the park. A master class of flipped out, chopped up slamage. Tonight only. Hmm? Wait a chirp. Tonight? Why are we headed there at nine in the morning? Tonight isn't until tonight. I was so excited, I couldn't wait. I wish Quincy could be here, but he's back home on his farm this week, so I rallied all y'all. Figured we could start the day by watching Croak and the team warm up. You woke Jade from her second mid-morning nap to watch warm-ups? Last time I woke Jade up from a nap, I had a tail. <gasps> Kidding! I've never had a tail, but you get my drift. Anyway, what's so impressive about a frog that can do martial arts? Whoa, Mama! That's impressive! It's more than impressive, it's legendary! Crow Froggers is the first pet to ever get the top level black collar! He even created his own form of martial arts! Hapki Koo! <laughs> Seven out of ten. You know, I studied all of Croak's moves, and I somehow managed to lock in and perfect his signature move, the Mount Kicker Manjaro. <gasps> Mount Kicker Mantastic? Huh? Man, that was epic, Yama. Real epic. Mr. Croak, could we get an action selfie? We can use my phone. Hey! -ya! Oops. Sorry, Air Pit. That's on me. Oh, epic bummer. Man, without Fee Sizzle, we won't be able to perform tonight. We're gonna have to cancel. Oh. What? You can't cancel? Everybody's looking forward to it. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that we should still perform tonight? And you could take V-Sizzle's place since you're clearly a martial arts master yourself? Yeah? Oh, you are a hero. Now meet me back here tonight and we will rock this show. Trip, how thrilling. I didn't know you were a martial arts master. Well, not quite a master. I basically only know that one move. So, why did you tell Croak you were a martial arts master? Because whatever, it's fine. As long as I absorb eight years worth of intense training before tonight, I'll be solid. That's the attitude. And with the help of all your friends, you'll be Mr. Master in no time. Between my training with Master Lao Tzu Shishu and my research, I'll have you trained and ready in no time. That's great, babe. What's first? To master the martial arts, you must move with the stealthy quickness of a cat. And who better to teach you than Jade? Huh? huh? Oh, hey. <laughs> wow! Jade, that was like ninja stuff. How do you do that? Huh? I tread lightly and have no regard for others. I can do that! Watch this! If you're gonna practice, do it silently. I'm going to take a nap. I don't think she noticed. Fail. Next up, a martial arts master must develop a sturdy base. Sturdy base. Unable to fall over. Got it. 
Why are we at the salon? Stay low, squat hard, and if it gets too windy, go in your shell. Blast the dryers! Huh? to the ground thing working, but maybe you need to grow a shell. I'll try. I don't think I can do it by the night. Maybe you're more of a high-flying martial artist, Stripper, which is why I brought you here to see Edie. Who better to show you how to swoop than the talented I? But how am I supposed to fly? I don't have wings. I didn't say fly. I said, swoop. <gasps> it's the landing that counts. Meh, I gotta try. If I don't learn some martial arts by tonight, I'm slewed. doing great at acquiring bruises, and that's a big part of martial arts. What is happening here? What's happening is... I'm leaving. I was helping Trip practice martial arts, Mr. Yet. He needs to gain some skills before his performance tonight, or else he's gonna disappoint his hero, Croak Frogus. My bad, Mr. Yet. I'll clean this mess I slammed out. Darn right you will clean up. Start by restocking. Bend knees. Shove the stock up onto the shelves. <gasps> Trip, this is amazing. Listen to everything Mr. Yet says. Clean up. Yeah, I get it. No, silly. He's teaching you martial arts through an unorthodox training method disguised as a set of chores. I've seen it in the movies. It works after every montage. Oh, very sly. Why didn't I pick up on that? Mr. Yet, instruct me. Okay. Stock the shelves! <laughs> Sweep the cup. Got it, master. Wipe the counter. I did it. I finally feel like a martial arts master. Thank you, Mr. Yup. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Whoa, it's five o'clock. I gotta get down to the performance so I don't leave Croak waiting. Oh, that's for training Trip by making him think he was cleaning your shop, Mr. Yet. He was cleaning my shop. Ha! <laughs> sure. But you were also training him in martial arts, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. But if you weren't, that means Trip has no martial arts skills! I gotta stop him before he gets hurt! Hey, Bev! This is gonna be even better than the great time we had this morning! Yeah, we get to see Trip do marshmallow arts or whatever. No, we don't. Trip didn't learn anything. Huh? What? I thought Mr. Yet was training him by making him clean, and he was just making him clean. Oh, I need to stop Trip from making a fool of himself. Hmm. Making a fool of himself is a done deal. Stop the shells! Sweet the cops! Huh? Is he making a fool of himself? Told you. Done deal. Ha! Martial arts master without any training at all. What do you mean? I became a master thanks to the greatest martial arts teacher in all of Pawtucket, Mr. Yut. Mm. Uh, 
I don't know how to say this, but Mr. Yuck didn't exactly... Finish training me! I have more to learn! What is my next lesson, Master? Oh, um, you could learn... Um, stomp the empty boxes from the storeroom. Thank you, Master. What can I say? He's a good stock boy. <laughs> <laughs>